Okay, so I guess this is actually part three of my day. We actually got the car out of the garage, finally. I like where the rear suspension is at. The front, I need to lower that after my test drive. I just letting the car run and get up to temperature so I can bleed the coolant system. Crack the bleeder valve, let that drip out for a bit. Looks like we got a little bit of smoke coming up from the back. It could just be more stuff getting burnt off the turbos or it could be the turbo oil feed o-rings are actually needing replaced see i just want to get up to temperature before i start driving i don't want to have it overheating while i'm there i'd rather bleed the coolant now a little smoky out the exhaust tips look at over how clean these wheels are like even the inside is like super clean like these wheels were used for one season before i picked them up the tread is amazing on them okay we just got back from the first test drive coolant is holding tight uh, reading the codes, it felt like there was no power. Like it didn't mind accelerating up to 100, but when you went from 20% to 100% throttle, it was all the same. And we're still getting boost pressure. So it's literally like it's getting no boost at all. That's exactly what it feels like. As soon as I clear the codes, like they come right back. Another thing that's concerning to me is it's still smoking over here. When I came back from the test drive, there was so much smoke going up. So it's either like my valve cover gasket is leaking like right away or the turbo o-rings are just like way worse but i don't know what it would be causing the smoke to be so bad we're gonna see if i can figure that out has no problem revving revs fine there's no misfires no breaking up or anything like that but it just it's like it's not building boost hazards are on both of those are good the side one's good and coming around to the front front one's out so i gotta change that light bulb the code that i was reading for the boost is apparently like the boost solenoid so i'm gonna take a look in here well, maybe I shouldn't be too surprised I have a boost leak. There's like this right angle vacuum line piece that did not go back into the car. So I don't know where that goes. Maybe that's it. I can visually see how much cleaner it is in there and how much that engine flush really did flush at the sludge because it was so much more sludgy in there. Okay, now I got the injector cover on. I've got this cover on. I got the heat shield on the hood back. So the engine bay is pretty much tightened up. I don't think I'm gonna adjust the suspension today. I'm pretty tired. I'm just, just gonna continue cleaning up the shop, clean up as much of the tools as I can, wash the floor and stuff, and then we're gonna head home. Wasn't able to diagnose why I'm not getting any boost, but it's still driving. There's just not that much power and I'll get a mechanic at Parkview to diagnose it for me. Before I head home, I do want to touch up my seat a little bit. A little black duct tape on the seat for now. Shop is all cleaned up. E36 is parked away. I got all my stuff pushed aside. I washed the floors. Everything is looking super clean. I'm going to drive the E92 home. Hopefully I make it. I figure if it goes into limp mode, I'll just clear the codes and then maybe I'll, they'll get me through or I may end up getting a tow truck. Let's find out.